Harry Edward Kane, born July 28, 1993, is an English professional footballer who plays as a striker for Bundesliga club Bayern Munich and captains the England national team. A prolific goal scorer with strong link play, Kane is regarded as one of the best players in the world and one of the best strikers of his generation. He is both Tottenham Hotspurs and England's all-time highest goal scorer, as well as being the second highest all-time goal scorer in the Premier League. Kane has scored over 350 goals for club and country. Beginning his senior career with Tottenham Hotspur in 2009, Kane had loaned spells out to clubs across the English football pyramid, including Leighton Orient, Millwall, Leicester City, and Norwich City. Kane's involvement at Tottenham increased after Mauricio Pochettino became head coach in 2014, and in his first full season at the club he was named PFA Young Player of the Year. In the 2015-16 and 2016-17 seasons, Kane finished as the league's top goal scorer. In the latter campaign, he helped Tottenham finish as Premier League runners-up and was named PFA Fans Player of the Year. Kane registered his best campaign statistically to date in the 2017-18 season, with 41 goals scored in 48 games across all competitions, and in the following season, he finished as a runner-up in the UEFA Champions League. He ended the 2020-21 season as the league's top goal scorer and top assist provider. In 2023, Kane became the most expensive signing in Bundesliga history, costing €110 million, Euros, as he signed for Bayern Munich. Kane has scored 62 goals in 89 appearances for England. He appeared more than 30 times at youth international level and made a goal-scoring debut with the senior team in March 2015, at age 21. Kane featured and scored during England's successful UEFA Euro 2016 qualifying campaign and represented the country at the tournament. He was named England captain just before the 2018 FIFA World Cup, in which he finished as the competition's top goal scorer, winning the Golden Boot, leading England to fourth place, their highest finish since 1990. He led England to the runner-up position at UEFA Euro 2020, marking their first appearance in a final at the tournament and their first major final since 1966. Early life Harry Edward Kane was born on 28 July 1993 in Walthamstow, London, to Kim, Nay Hogg, and Patrick Kane and has one older brother, Charlie. He has Irish ancestry through his father, who is from Galway. The family moved to Chingford where Kane attended Larkswood Primary Academy until 2004, followed by Chingford Foundation School, also attended by David Beckham. Dot. He played football from a young age, joining a local club, Ridgeway Rovers, when he was six in 1999. Kane talked about footballing in the family. I think the sporting genes come from my mum's side of the family, although the topic is a hot debate in the Kane household. Dad probably won't like me saying that, but I think my granddad Eric on my mum's side was quite a good footballer and played at a decent level. Kane also said, most of my family were Spurs fans and I grew up 15 minutes from the ground, so I was always going to be a Spurs fan. He named former Spurs striker Teddy Sheringham his childhood idol, and saw him as a great finisher and a role model in his ability to get in the box and score goals. Other childhood sporting influences he cited include David Beckham and Jermaine Defoe. Kane has also spoken of his admiration for the former Brazil forward Ronaldo, adding that he loved to watch footage of him on YouTube. He was one of the first ones I looked at and thought, wow. He's a goal scorer. I want to be a goal scorer. Club career Tottenham Hotspur 2004-2010, youth career Kane first played for a local club, Ridgeway Rovers, and joined the Arsenal Youth Academy when he was eight years old. He was released after one season for being a bit chubby and not very athletic, according to Liam Brady who was then in charge of Arsenal's academy. Manager Arsene Wenger stated in November 2015 that he was disappointed that Arsenal chose to release Kane. He also had a trial at Tottenham Hotspur but was not initially successful, and he returned to his old club Ridgeway Rovers. In 2004, at the age of 11, he joined Watford Academy for a four- to six-week trial, and was then given another chance at Tottenham after he impressed playing for Watford against Tottenham. He first played at Tottenham as a midfielder, initially in a holding position, then as an attacking midfielder, in his early days at Tottenham. 
Kane did not stand out as a player as he was neither big nor was he particularly quick, but those who worked with him noted his constant desire to improve. Various aspects of his game, a couple of years after joining, he had a large growth spurt that made him taller and physically stronger. In the 2008-09 season, he played in the under-16 side that competed in the Copa Chivas tournament in Mexico and the Bellinzona tournament in Switzerland, scoring three goals. In July 2009, on his 16th birthday, he signed a scholarship contract with Tottenham. In the 2009-10 season, Kane played 22 times for Tottenham's under-18s, scoring 18 goals. Kane appeared on the first-team bench twice during the 2009-10 season. Both matches were in home domestic cup victories, won the League Cup fixture against Everton on 27 October 2009-28, and the other in the FA Cup fourth-round replay against Bolton Wanderers on 24 February 2010. 2010 to 2014. Loan spells across England he signed his first professional contract with the club in July 2010. On January 7, 2011, Kane moved to Leighton Orient on loan until the end of the 2010 to 11 season, manager. Russell Slade was happy at his arrival and said, I'm sure he will have an impact with us over the coming months. He made his first team debut for Orient on January 15, coming on as a substitute for Scott McLeish in the 73rd minute of a 1 1 draw away to Rochdale. A week later, Kane scored his first first team goal against Sheffield Wednesday, making his first ever start. Unmarked Kane scored from a Dean Cox free kick in the 57th minute as Orient eventually won 4 0. Slade said that. He was delighted that Kane scored a goal on his first league start. On February 12, he scored twice in a 4-1 win over Bristol Rovers. After coming on as a substitute for McLeish in the 70th minute, he ended the season scoring five goals in 18 matches. On August 25, 2011, Kane made his first appearance for Tottenham, starting in the second leg of their UEFA Europa League qualification round against Hearts, with Tottenham making changes after winning the first leg 5-0. His debut was a goalless match, although he won a penalty after being fouled by goalkeeper Jamie McDonald, who then saved the penalty which Kane took himself. He went on to make six appearances in the Europa League that season, scoring his first Tottenham goal in the 4-0 win away to Shamrock Rovers on 15 December 2011. On December 29, 2011, Kane and Tottenham teammate Ryan Mason agreed to join Championship Club Millwall on loan from January 1. 2012 until the end of the season, after making his debut against Bristol City, manager Kenny Jackett said that he had very good debut but was unlucky not to score. He also said that Kane would be a good addition for the club in the second half of the season. He went on to score seven goals in the final 14 matches of the season. Kane scored nine goals in 27 matches which resulted in him being named Millwall's Young Player of the Year for 2011-12. His run of goals scored towards the end of the season has been credited with helping to raise Millwall in the table away from the threat of relegation that season. Kane spent preseason 2012-13 season with Tottenham, scoring a hat-trick in a 6-0 away win against Southend United on 10 August 2012. On August 18, he made his Premier League debut against Newcastle United, coming as an 86-minute substitute for Sandro. Tottenham lost 2-1 on August 31, 2012. Kane joined Premier League team Norwich City on a season-long loan, making his debut as a substitute against West Ham United. Kane suffered an injury, breaking a metatarsal bone, in the League Cup tie against Doncaster Rovers in only his second appearance. The 19-year-old underwent his rehabilitation at Tottenham but returned to action for Norwich on December 29, 2012, coming off the bench at half-time as Norwich lost 3-4 to Manchester City. However, with Tottenham having been unable to add to their attacking options during the January transfer window, they opted to recall Kane on February 1, 2013, for months before he was due to return, 20 days after he was recalled. To Tottenham, Kane joined Leicester City for the remainder of the season to aid in the club's push for automatic promotion from the championship. 50, he marked his home debut with a goal against Blackburn Rovers in a 3-0 win on 26 February 2013. He made 13 appearances for the East Midlands club, 8 from the bench, and they reached the playoff semi-final before being eliminated by Watford. Kane scored his first Tottenham goal of the 2013-14 season at White Hart Lane in a League Cup tie. 
against Hull City, scoring the equalizer in extra time, the match finished 2-2, Tottenham won 8-7 on penalties, with Kane taking and converting the fifth of the nine sets of spot kicks. On April 7, 2014, Kane was given his first Premier League start for Tottenham by manager Tim Sherwood in a 5-1 win against Sunderland and scored his first Premier League goal in the 59th minute. He also scored in the following match, helping Tottenham to recover from a 3-0 deficit against West Bromwich. Albion before eventually drawing 3-3-55, he scored for the third match in a row on April 19, this time helping Tottenham to a 3-1 London Derby win at home over Fulham. 2014-2015, PFA Young Player of the Year Kane, left. Playing for Tottenham Hotspur against Chelsea in 2015 Kane made his first appearance of the 2014-15 season as a substitute against West Ham on the opening day of the Premier League season, providing an assist for the match-winning goal by Eric Deere. He scored in both. Matches against Cypriot opposition AEL Limassol in Tottenham's UEFA Europa League playoffs, scoring an 80th-minute winner in the first leg and opening the scoring in the 3-0 second-leg victory after missing a penalty. He scored a late goal against Nottingham Forest in the League Cup to secure a 3-1 victory for Tottenham on 24 September 2014. On October 23, 2014, Kane scored his first professional hat-trick for Tottenham in a 5-1 win over Astros Tripoli in the group stage of the UEFA. Europa League, Kane was forced to play in goal for the final three minutes after Hugo Lloris had been sent off with no substitutions remaining and conceded a goal when he dropped a free kick from Geronimo Barrales. On November 2, 2014, Kane came on as a second-half substitute in Tottenham's 2-1 win over Aston Villa and scored his first Premier League goal of the season to win the match in the 90th minute, manager Mauricio Pochettino, who was appointed to replace Sherwood and had a rocky start at the club, Essen said that this goal saved him from the sack. Kane then became a regular in Spurs' starting lineup under Pochettino. He was selected to start a week later for the first time in this Premier League season, and although the team lost 2-1 at home to Stoke City, he retained his place in the first 11 for Spurs' 2-1 win away to Hull City on November 23, scoring the team's equalizing goal. Between the 14th and the 26th of December, Kane scored in three consecutive 2-1 wins for Tottenham against Swansea City, Burnley, and Leicester City, respectively. On January 1, 2015, Kane scored twice and won a penalty as Tottenham defeated rivals and league leaders Chelsea 5-3, and he scored a further two in a 3-0 away win against West Bromwich Albion on January 31, including one from a penalty. Kane set up Christian Eriksen's late equalizer against Sheffield United on January 28, 2015, a goal which put Tottenham into the 2015 League Cup final. 70, his performances led to him being named as the Premier League Player of the Month for January 2015. On February 2, 2015, Kane signed a new five-and-a-half-year contract with the club. Five days later, he scored both of Tottenham's goals as they came from behind to defeat Arsenal in the North London Derby, his 21st and 22nd goals of the season across all competitions, after scoring against Arsenal, Liverpool and West Ham United. Kane was again named as the Premier League Player of the Month for February 2015, becoming only the fourth player to win the award in consecutive months, Tottenham. Lost the League Cup final 2-0 to rivals Chelsea on 1 March 2015, which Kane described as the worst feeling in the world. 20 days later, he scored his first Premier League hat-trick in a 4-3 home win over his former lone club Leicester Wink with a frown. This brought him to 19 league goals in the season, making him the division's top scorer. On April 5, Kane captained Tottenham for the first time in a 0-0 draw with Burnley at Turf Moor. Two weeks later, he scored his 30th goal of the season in a 3-1 win against Newcastle United at St. James Park, making him the first Tottenham player to reach that milestone since Gary Lineker in 1991-92. Later that month, he was included as one of two forwards in the PFA Team of the Year, alongside Chelsea's Diego Costa. He was also voted the PFA Young Player of the Year on May 24, 2015. He headed in an Eric Deere cross for the only goal of an away win over Everton on the final day of the season to confirm fifth place for Tottenham, thus qualifying them to the group stage of the following season's UEFA Europa League.
It was his 21st goal of the league campaign, equaling a Premier League club record alongside Teddy Sheringham, Jurgen Klinsmann and Gareth Bale. At the end of the season, Kane remarked that he had done more in the single campaign than he had expected to do in his whole career. 2015-2016, Premier League top goalscorer Kane playing for Tottenham Hotspur in 2016 on Tottenham's preseason tour of Australia, Kane attracted numerous fans while visiting the Westfield Sydney Shopping Centre, resulting in the club sending a minibus to escort him away. On July 29, 2015, Tottenham were the guests in the 2015 MLS All-Star Game at Dick's Sporting Goods Park in Commerce City, Colorado. They lost 2-1 to the MLS All-Stars, with Kane scoring their consolation goal in the 37th minute after beating a challenge from Omar Gonzalez, and he was later substituted in the 77th minute. Kane's squad number was changed from 18 to 10, previously worn by Emmanuel Adebayer. In an interview with the Daily Telegraph, he said that he changed the number to become a club legend. With Adebayer and Roberto Soldado having been put up for sale, he began the season as the club's only forward and the third choice captain behind Hugo Loris and Jan Burtengen. After a 748 minute drought, he scored his first goal of the season on September 26, 2015, as Tottenham came from behind to defeat leaders Manchester City 4 1. Eight days later, he scored an own goal from John Joe. Shelby's corner kick away to Swansea City, but Tottenham fought back to a 2-2 draw. On October 25, 2015, Kane scored a hat-trick, including a penalty which he won himself, as Tottenham came from conceding a first-minute goal to triumph 5-1 away to AFC Bournemouth. Eight days later, he recorded his fifth goal of the season with the final goal in a 3-1 win at home to Aston Villa. On November 8, 2015, he gave Tottenham a half-time lead against Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium, albeit in a 1-1 draw wink with a frown. This goal past Petracek was from his first touch of Danny Rose's long pass. 18 days after that, he recorded his ninth goal in six matches, the only one of an away match against Karabag, qualifying Tottenham to the knockout stages of the seasons. UEFA Europa League, on December 19, 2015, Kane made his 100th appearance for the club in a 2-0 win away to Southampton and scored his 10th goal in his last 10 matches. A week later, he added two more in a 3-0 win over former loan employers Norwich, putting him on 27 Premier League goals for the year 2015, breaking Sheringham's club record. On January 10, 2016, he scored his 50th goal for Tottenham in a 2-2 draw against Leicester in the third round of the FA Cup. Kane was Premier League. Player of the Month for the third time in March 2016, after scoring five goals in four games, including an angled strike from the corner of the 18-yard box in the North London Derby which Kane called one of my best goals technically. After scoring his 22nd league goal of the season in a 1-1 draw against Liverpool at Anfield on April 2, Kane became the club's highest goal scorer in a single Premier League season, with six games of the season remaining. Kane ended the season winning the Premier League Golden Boot, finishing one goal ahead of Sergio Aguero and Jamie Vardy with 25 goals. He was named in the PFA Team of the Year for the second consecutive season, as he helped Tottenham to a third-place finish and UEFA Champions League qualification. 2016-2017, league runner-up and second Golden Boot Kane, center. With his Tottenham Hotspur teammates in 2016 in the absence of Hugo Lloris, Kane captained Tottenham in their opening home match of the 2016-17 season, assisting. Victor Wanyama's winning goal as Spurs beat Crystal Palace 1-0 in a London derby at White Hart Lane. He opened his scoring account in the fourth match day of the Premier League season, providing the final goal in a 4-0 win away to Stoke City. On September 14, 2016, Kane made his UEFA Champions League debut in Spurs' 2-1 loss to Monaco at Wembley Stadium. Four days later, he scored the winning goal against Sunderland in the Premier League, but had to be helped off the field after twisting. His right ankle attempting a tackle of Pepe Jalabaji, reports indicated that the ligaments in Kane's ankle were damaged, ruling him out for six to eight weeks. After missing five league matches and three in the Champions League group phase, Kane made his return at rivals Arsenal on November 6, scoring from the penalty spot to equalize in a 1-1 -one -one draw. On November 22, he scored his first Champions League goal in the return fixture against Monaco at the Stade Louis II, a game which saw.
Spurs eliminated from the competition with a 2-1 loss. On December 1, 2016, Kane signed a new contract with Tottenham, keeping him at the club until 2022. On January 1, 2017, made his 100th Premier League appearance, scoring the first Premier League goal of the new year against Watford on the 27-minute mark which he extended to a brace after scoring again in the 33rd minute. In his first match after the birth of his daughter, Kane scored a hat-trick in a 4-0 win against West Brom on 14. January, in the fifth round of the 2016-17 FA Cup on February 19, 2017, Kane scored all three goals as Tottenham beat Fulham 3-0. This meant his fifth career hat-trick and his second in 2017 on February 26, 2017, Kane once again scored a hat-trick as Tottenham beat Stoke 4-0, his third hat-trick in nine games, and his second in consecutive domestic games. The first of these goals was his 100th in club football. He was named Player of the Month for the fourth time in his career in February 2017. In March 2017, he injured his ankle in an FA Cup match against former loan club Millwall. On April 15, Kane scored his 20th Premier League goal of the season against Bournemouth on his first start in a month after returning from injury. This made him the fourth player in Premier League history to achieve 20 goals in three consecutive seasons, after Alan Shearer, Thierry Henry and Ruud van Nistelrooy. On April 20, Kane was named in the PFA Team of the Year for the third consecutive season. He was also included in the six-player shortlist for the PFA Players Player of the Year and PFA Young Player of the Year awards. Two days later, he scored in Tottenham's 4-2 FA Cup semi-final loss to rivals Chelsea at Wembley. Stadium In the last match at White Hart Lane on May 14, Harry Kane scored the 2-0 goal as Tottenham beat Manchester United 2-1. With two games remaining of the season, Kane stood on 22 goals, two fewer than Romelu Lukaku. With a combined seven goals in the last two fixtures however, a 6-1 win over reigning champions Leicester City, and a 7-1 win against Hull City, Kane finished as the top scorer of the Premier League on 29 goals, and thus won his second consecutive golden boot, becoming only the fifth player to do so. 2017-2018 Record-breaking year Kane playing for Tottenham Hotspur in 2017 after not finding the back of the net in Tottenham's first three games, Kane scored a brace in three of his next four. Appearances for the club across all competitions his opening goal against Everton on September 9 was his 100th overall for the club, coming in his 169th appearance, 128. On September 26, Kane scored his first UEFA Champions League hat-trick in a 3-0 group stage win against Cypriot champions APOEL. He was awarded Premier League Player of the Month for the fifth time and named September 2017, in which he scored 13 goals in 10 club and international games, as the best month of his career. On December 23, 2017, Kane equaled Alan Shearer's record of 36 Premier League goals in a calendar year, having scored a hat-trick in a 0-3 away win to Burnley. He surpassed Shearer's record the following game with another hat-trick in the 5-2 home win against Southampton, ending the year with 39 Premier League goals the hat-trick, his sixth of the year in the Premier League, eighth in all competitions, also made him the first player in Premier League history to score six hat-tricks in a year, with a total of 56 goals scored in all. Competitions for the year, he also became Europe's top goal scorer of 2017, breaking the seven-year dominance of Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo as Europe's top goal scorer in a calendar year. In January 2018, he scored twice in the 4-0 home win against Everton and became Tottenham's top goalscorer in the Premier League era, breaking Teddy Sheringham's record of 97 Premier League goals for the club. On February 4, Kane scored an added-time penalty to equalize in a 2-2 draw with Liverpool at Anfield for his 100th Premier League goal. He achieved the century of league goals in 141 games, beaten only by Alan Shearer's 124. He was named in the PFA Team of the Year for the fourth consecutive season in April 2018, alongside fellow forwards Mohamed Salah and Sergio Aguero. On June 8, Kane signed a new contract to keep him at the club until 2024. 2018-2019, UEFA Champions League runner-up Kane started the season opener against Newcastle United without scoring, before opening his account against Fulham the following weekend. 
In doing so he ended his hoodoo of failing to score a Premier League goal in the month of August. He also scored for the first time at Old Trafford in the following game as Tottenham won 3-0 in what was only their third away win against Manchester United since 1992, as well as the biggest away win against the club in 46 years. He scored the opening goal against Cardiff City on January 1, 2019, and with that goal, he became the first player to have scored a goal against every Premier League team he has faced, on January 13, 2019, in a match against Manchester United, Kane injured his ankle ligaments late in the game, thereby missing some crucial games including the Champions League round of 16 home game. He returned to the first-team squad on February 23, 2019, in a match against Burnley, and was immediately placed in the starting 11. He scored the equalizing goal in the 65th minute to tie the score 1-1, although the match ended a 2-1 defeat, he scored the only goal in the Champions League round of 16 away tie against Borussia Dortmund to ensure a 4-0 win on aggregate and progress to the club's second quarterfinal in the Champions League. The goal also made him the club's top goal scorer in European competitions with 24 goals scored, during the first leg of the quarterfinal in the Champions League on April 9, 2019 against Manchester City, he again suffered an ankle injury, which ended his season domestically in the Premier League. He did, however, return for the Champions League final on June 1. Although his selection after his injury became a subject of debate as Tottenham lost 2-0 to Liverpool. 2019-2020, injury struggles Kane started Tottenham's first game of the 2019-20 season, scoring twice in a 3-1 home win against Aston Villa. Kane's first goal of the game was his first at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, on January 1, 2020, in the away match against Southampton that ended in a 1-0 defeat, Kane suffered a hamstring injury. The damage to his hamstring required an operation which would see him out of action for a few months due to the COVID-19 pandemic which resulted in the suspension of league matches. He did not play any further matches until 19 June, on June 23, in his 200th Premier League appearance for Tottenham, he scored his first goal of 2020 against West Ham, sealing a 2-0 win. 2020-2021 third golden boot and playmaker of the season Kane playing for Tottenham Hotspur in 2021 Kane scored his first goal of the season in the Europa League match against Lokomotiv Plovdiv, helping the team to win 2-1 after Plovdiv had two players sent off late in the second half. His first league goal of the 2020-21 season came in the second league match following a spree of four goals which were all scored by Sun Hyung Min and assisted by Kane, giving Spurs a 5-2 win over Southampton. This is the first time in Premier League history a player has provided four assists to the same teammate in a match and Kane became just the sixth player in Premier League history to assist four goals in a single match, and the first English player to do so. Kane scored a hat-trick against Maccabi Haifa in the UEFA Europa League playoff round on October 1, securing qualification for the group stage. On October 4, he scored a brace in a 6-1 away win against Manchester United, which is the biggest win for Tottenham at Old Trafford and their best result against United since a home win in 1932. He scored his 200th goal for Tottenham in his 300th appearance for the club in the 3-1 win over Ludogorets Razgrad in the group stage of the Europa. League, Kane scored in Tottenham's 2-0 victory over rivals Arsenal making him the record highest goal scorer in the history of the North London Derby with 11 goals. It was also Kane's 100th home goal for Tottenham in all competitions, and his 250th career goal for club and country. On January 2, 2021, Kane converted a penalty to open the scoring and later provided an assist during Tottenham's 3-0 home victory over Leeds United. This brought both Kane's goal and assist tally in the league to 10, making him the first player in Europe's top five leagues to reach double digits for goals and assists in the 2020-21 season. On March 7, he scored a brace against Crystal Palace in a 4-1 win, the last goal was assisted by Sun Hyung Min, and this, their 14th combined goal effort whereby one assisted another, set a record for the most goal combinations in a Premier League season. On May 23, he scored a goal in a 4-2 win over Leicester City, to reach his 23rd goal of the season and to win the third Golden Boot Award in his career. He also won the Premier League Playmaker of the Season Award for most assists in A. 
season, becoming the first player to win both the Golden Boot and Playmaker Awards in the same season since the introduction of the Playmakers Award in 2018. 2021-2022, desire to leave Tottenham Kane, 10, playing for Tottenham Hotspur in 2022. The 2021-22 season was preceded by a dispute over a desire by Kane to leave Tottenham, saying he had a gentleman's agreement with Chairman Daniel Levy that would allow him to leave in the summer. The agreement was not honored, and Levy rejected the interest expressed by Manchester City for Kane's services, including a £127 million transfer bid. Kane failed to turn up for preseason training and did not play the first two games of the season. He made his season bow on August 22 as a substitute against Wolverhampton Wanderers, his first appearance since returning late for preseason. Kane announced his desire to stay at Tottenham on August 25 after the move to Manchester City failed to materialize, with Kane stating, I will be staying at Tottenham this summer and will be 100% focused on helping the team achieve success. The following day Kane made his first appearance in the UEFA Europa Conference League against Pacos de Ferreira. He scored twice in a 3-0 win to secure the team's progress to the group stage. On September 30, in the second match of the group stage, he scored a hat-trick in 20 minutes against Mura after coming on as a substitute to win 5-1. This was the first hat-trick ever scored in the Europa Conference League and made Kane the first player to score a hat-trick in all three current major UEFA club competitions i.e. Champions League, Europa League, and Europa Conference League. On October 17, 2021, Kane scored his first Premier League goal of the season in a 3-2 away win against Newcastle United. His second goal of the season came on December 19, when he scored the opener in a 2-2 home draw against Liverpool. On February 19, 2022, Kane scored twice, including a 95th-minute winner in a thrilling 3-2 victory over Manchester City. This ended City's 15-game unbeaten streak in the league. On February 26, Kane scored against Leeds United and assisted Son. The assist was the 37th time Kane and Son had combined to score, setting a new record of goal-scoring partnerships in the Premier League. On March 16, Kane scored in a 2-0 win away at Brighton, bringing his Premier League away goal tally to 95, surpassing Wayne Rooney's record for most Premier League goals scored away from home. 2022-2023, all-time Tottenham top goal scorer and final year at the club Kane scored his first goal of the season in the London Derby away at Chelsea, rescuing a point for Tottenham by scoring in the sixth minute of injury time to bring the score to 2-2. This took his tally of Premier League goals scored for Tottenham to 184, equaling Sergio Aguero's record of most goals scored for a single Premier League club. Kane broke the record the following game when he scored the only goal in the game against Wolverhampton Wanderers, becoming the first player to score 185 goals in the Premier League for a single club, 185, on February 5, 2023. Tottenham stated that Kane had become their all-time top scorer, overtaking Jimmy Greaves with his 267th goal for Tottenham and 200th in the Premier League in a 1-0 home victory against Manchester City. This fact was disputed, however, as Tottenham do not count the two goals Greaves scored in the 1962 FA Charity Shield, which would put him on 268. On March 11, 2023, Kane scored his 269th and 270th goals with a brace in a 3-1 victory against Nottingham Forest, giving him the now undisputed record. In 2023, he finished second to Erling Haaland, with 30 goals, becoming the first player to score 30 times in two separate 38-game Premier League seasons, following the departure of Karim. Benzema from Real Madrid on June 6, 2023, manager Carlo Ancelotti, who was interested in signing Kane, reportedly asked his board to initiate a possible transfer. In late June 2023, Bayern Munich made an initial bid for Kane of £70 million with one year left in his contract, which was rejected. In July, he was included in Tottenham's squad for their preseason tour, with Bayern Munich honorary president Uli Honus saying that there had been talks between the club and the players. Advisors, stating that Kane had clearly signaled in all conversations that he wished to transfer to Bayern Munich. On August 6, Kane scored four goals as Tottenham beat Shakhtar Donetsk 5 1 in their penultimate preseason friendly before the start of the Premier League. On the next day, Tottenham rejected another bid from Bayern Munich for a reported fee of £86 million. On August 10, 
It was reported that Bayern Munich and Tottenham had agreed a deal in principle for Kane which was worth more than 100 million euros, 86.4 million pounds. His departure was later confirmed by manager Ange Postacoglu via press conference. The same day, it was reported that Kane was to undergo a medical at Bayern Munich after being given permission to travel to Germany by Tottenham. On August 12th, Kane posted a farewell video on Instagram, thanking Tottenham staff and supporters for his time at the club. Tottenham released an official statement shortly after thanking Kane for his service. Tottenham chairman Daniel Levy also mentioned that Kane wanted a new challenge and decided not to sign a new contract with the club, Bayern Munich after Bayern Munich and Tottenham agreed on a deal on August 10, 2023, Kane agreed personal terms and flew to Munich the next day. On August 12, Bayern Munich announced the signing of Kane on a four-year contract. Kane became the most expensive signing in Bundesliga history, costing 100 million euro plus 10 million euro bonuses in transfer fees, surpassing the 80 million euros. Transfer fee paid by Bayern Munich for Lucas Hernandez in 2019. He made his debut for Bayern on the same day he joined the club as a 64th minute substitute in a 3 0 defeat to RB Leipzig in the 2023 DFL Super Cup. He scored his first goal for the club on the opening day of the 2023 24 Bundesliga season, also providing the assist for Leroy Sainz's early opener as Bayern won 4 0 away to Werder Bremen on August 27. Kane netted his first Bayern brace in a 3-1 home league victory against FC. Augsburg, on September 15, Kane scored his 300th career club goal as Bayern's home league match against Bayer Leverkusen ended in a 2-2 draw. On September 20, he scored his first Champions League goal for Bayern on his European debut, converting a penalty in a 4-3 win over Manchester United. On September 23, Kane got his first hat-trick for Bayern as well as two assists in a 7-0 victory against VfL Bochum, taking his league goal tally to seven and setting a new club record for most goals. By a player in his first five Bundesliga appearances, the hat-trick was also his first domestic league triple since December 2017. On October 28, Kane scored a second-half hat-trick and got an assist in an 8-0 victory over Darmstadt 98, including a goal from inside his own half. On November 4, 2023, Kane scored his third and back-to-back hat-trick of the season on his Der Klassiker debut, which ended in a 4-0 away win against Borussia Dortmund. With 20 goal participations and 15 goals in 10 games he broke three Bundesliga records and matched Gerd Müller's record from the 1968-69 Bundesliga season. Four days later, he netted a double in a 2-1 victory against Galatasaray, which secured his club's qualification to the Champions League knockout stages on top of their group, with a brace against FC Heidenheim. He became the first player to score 17 goals after 11 games of a Bundesliga season, with his 18th league goal in A. Victory over FC Köln on November 24, he became the top-scoring Englishman in a single season in Bundesliga history, surpassing Kevin Keegan and Jadon Sancho, with his 22nd league goal in a victory over Hoffenheim on January 12, 2024, he matched Robert Lewandowski's record for most goals in the first half of the season, on February 3. He netted a goal in 3-1 victory against Borussia Mönchengladbach, matching Luka Toni's record of 24 goals for Bayern on his debut season in 2007-08 and on 18th. February he surpassed that with a goal in a 3-2 loss to Bochum. International career 2010-2015, youth level Kane warming up for England U19 at the 2012 UEFA European Under-19 Championship in January 2010, Kane was called up to play for the England Under-17 team for the Algarve tournament in Portugal. Kane missed the 2010 UEFA European Under-17 Championship due to illness with England going on to win the tournament in his absence. He scored three goals and six appearances in total at under-17 level. He later moved up to the under-19s and scored twice. In a 6-1 victory over Albania on 8 October 2010, Kane played a large role in the England under-19s progression to the semi-finals of the 2012 UEFA European Under-19 Championship in Estonia. Kane scored the winner against France in the final group stage match to ensure the team a safe passage through to the semi-finals. In total, Kane appeared 14 times for the England under-19 team and contributed six goals during that period. On May 28, 
2013, he was named in manager Peter Taylor's 21-man squad for the 2013 FIFA U-20 World Cup. He made his debut on June 16 in a 3-0 win in a warm-up match against Uruguay. He assisted Luke Williams' goal in the opening group stage match on June 23, 2013 against Iraq. He then scored in the following match against Chile, collecting a pass after work by Ross Barkley and firing in from the edge of the penalty area. On August 13, 2013, Kane made his debut for the under-21s against Scotland. In that match, he came on as a substitute in the 58th minute and England won 6-0. On October 10, he scored a hat-trick for England under-21s against San Marino during 2015 UEFA European under-21 championship qualification. Kane was named in the England under-21 squad for the 2015 UEFA European under-21 championship in the Czech Republic, despite opposition from his club manager Mauricio Pochettino. He played every minute of England's campaign at the tournament, which ended with them eliminated in last place in their group. 2015-2018, senior debut and first major tournaments Kane, in white, playing for England against France in 2015 Kane was also eligible for the Republic of Ireland through his father, who was born in Galway, but in August 2014 he ruled out switching allegiance, saying that he wanted to break into the England senior team. After a good run of form with Tottenham and being the third top goal scorer in the Premier League with 16 goals, on March 19, 2015 Kane was named by manager Roy Hodgson in the England squad to face Lithuania in a UEFA Euro 2016 qualifying match and Italy in a friendly. He made his international debut at Wembley Stadium, replacing Wayne Rooney in the second half against Lithuania, and scored just 80 seconds later with a header from a Raheem Sterling cross. On March 30, 2015, the day before the Italy match, Hodgson announced that Kane would start alongside Rooney, and he played the full 90 minutes of the 1-1 draw at Juventus Stadium. In his next appearance on September 5, 2015, substitute Kane scored the fifth of England's six goals in a win over San Marino which qualified them for UEFA Euro 2016. Kane scored his third England goal against Switzerland in another qualifier three days later, which they won 2-0. On October 12, as England finished their qualification campaign with a 10th win from 10 matches, Kane's shot hit the post for an own goal by Lithuanian goalkeeper Gidrius Arlowskis in a 3-0 away victory. On May 22, 2016, Kane opened the scoring in a 2-1 friendly win over Turkey at the city of Manchester Stadium, but later missed a penalty. He was the first England player to fail to score from the penalty spot during a game since Frank Lampard in 2010, and the first to miss the target since Peter Crouch in 2006.AT the European Championship in France that June, Kane was assigned to take corner kicks, a tactic which was criticized by pundits, but defended by Hodgson, who said that Kane was the best for the role. On June 10, 2017, Kane captained England for the first time in their 2018 FIFA World Cup qualifier with Scotland at Hampton Park, scoring an added time equaliser to rescue a 2-2 draw. On October 5, he scored an added time winner against Slovenia which confirmed England's qualification to the 2018 FIFA World Cup, 2018-2020. Assuming the captaincy in FIFA World Cup Golden Boot Kane playing for England at the 2018 FIFA World Cup Kane was named in the 23-man England squad for the 2018 FIFA World Cup and was made captain. On June 18, Kane scored both of England's goals in a 2-1 win over Tunisia, his winning goal coming deep in injury time in the team's opening group game of the World Cup. In the next group game on June 24, Kane scored a hat-trick in England's 6-1 win over Panama, which was England's largest ever World Cup victory. With his three goals against Panama, Kane became the third England player to score a hat-trick in a World Cup match, after Jeff Hurst. Against West Germany in the 1966 final and Gary Leinker against Poland in 1986, Kane scored his sixth goal of the finals as England overcame Colombia in the round of 16 scoring a penalty in a match that finished 1-1 after 120 minutes, also scoring in the penalty shootout as England prevailed 4-3. This was the first time that England had managed to win a penalty shootout at the World Cup. Kane didn't score again for the rest of the tournament as England finished in fourth place after losing 2-0 Belgium in the third-place playoff. However, 
His six goals in the tournament earned him the golden boot as the top goal scorer of the World Cup, the first England player to win the award since Gary Lineker became the first to do so in the 1986 tournament. The September international break saw the introduction of the UEFA Nations League. England's first match was on September 8, 2018 against Spain, which came captain for the full 90 minutes in a game which saw England lose 2-1. On October 15, England played Spain for the second time in the group, this time running out 3-2 winners with Kane assisting two of the three goals, on November 14, before a friendly against the United States, U.S. Kane presented Wayne Rooney with England's golden boot in recognition of Rooney's 53 England goals, a record that makes him England's all-time top goal scorer. In an interview following the match, which ended in a 3-0 win for England, Rooney revealed that he wanted Harry Kane to present him the award as he believed that Kane will one day beat it. Three days after the U.S. match, Kane captained England in their final Nations League group match against Croatia as the three Lions won 2-1. Kane first assisted Jesse Lingard's equaliser then scored the winning goal which saw England top the group and qualify for the finals in June 2019, 2021 present, Euro 2020 runner-up and all-time England top scorer in the qualifying round of UEFA Euro 2020, Kane captained the 1,000th match played by England and scored a hat-trick against Montenegro. This brought his tally to 31, which placed him sixth in the all-time list of England's top goal scorers, but also made him the highest-ever scoring England captain. The 7-0 win also secured England's qualification to UEFA Euro 2020. Kane was in fine form throughout the qualifying process, becoming the first Englishman to score in every game in a qualifying campaign, registering a total of 12 goals, the joint most for an England player in a single year, in the round of 16 match on 29. June 2021, Kane scored the second goal against Germany. This was his first goal of the tournament in a 2-0 victory for England. He scored a further two goals in the quarterfinals match against Ukraine on 3 July. In the semifinals against Denmark, Kane scored the winning goal in a 2-1 triumph that secured England's place in the Euro 2020 final, the country's first final in a major competition since 1966 which they subsequently lost to Italy on penalties after a 1-1 draw in regular time. In the unsuccessful shootout, Kane did convert his penalty but England ultimately lost 3-2. Kane playing for England at the 2022 FIFA World Cup and the last two 2022 FIFA World Cup qualifiers against Albania and San Marino, Kane scored back-to-back first-half hat-tricks, including a perfect hat-trick against the former and four goals against the latter to help secure England's qualification to the 2022 FIFA World Cup qualification. In June 2022, in the league phase of the 2022-23 UEFA Nations League, Kane scored his 50th international goal in the game against Germany, making him only the second player to score 50 goals for England, only three goals behind Wayne Rooney in the all-time England top scorer list. At the 2022 FIFA World Cup, Kane scored twice, enough to equal Rooney's all-time top-scoring record, as England reached the quarterfinals, however they were eliminated by France after he missed a penalty in their 2-1 defeat. On March 23, 2023, he scored a penalty in a UEFA Euro 2024 qualifier to help England win 2-1 over reigning European champions Italy, which was also England's first away win against Italy since 1961. This goal, his 54th for England, overtook Rooney's record and made Kane England's all-time record goal scorer. Kane achieved this feat with 39 fewer games than Rooney, with a score rate of 0.7 goals per game, higher than most of England's recent top goal scorers. On October 17, he scored a brace in a 3-1 win against Italy in the second leg of the Euro 2024 qualifier, which was England's first win against their opponent at Wembley Stadium since 1977. Player profile development Kane's former youth coach Alex Inglethorpe has said of him, when he first came into the under-18s as a 15-year-old, he stood out in the sense he looked a bit gangly. He moved slightly awkwardly, he was a bit cumbersome. But look closer, he had a lot of ability, a great technique. I think he surprised people how good he was. Tactically, he was very flexible. He often played in midfield. I remember seeing him once playing as a holding midfielder, 
While a teenager, Kane initially struggled in Tottenham's academy, as partially due to his date of birth in July, he was not as physically developed as other players, nor was he as quick. However, he gained the respect of coaches with his technique and desire for self-improvement. When profiling Kane in February 2013, TalkSport said that he was best as a second striker, despite also having ability as a center forward or in a wide position. They wrote that he preferred to place his shots, although he could also score from distance. The report also noted that he had good pace, but was weak in the air and had not scored on his loan at Norwich, initially a backup to £26 million Spanish import Roberto Soldado and frequently loaned out, Kane was eventually made Tottenham starting forward by manager Mauricio Pochettino. Under Pochettino, Kane said that his game has improved through the tough training techniques instituted by the manager. He also strives to achieve marginal gain in order to maximize his potential by tweaking various aspects of his training and preparations as well as nutrition, analysis former Tottenham manager David Pleat described Kane as an old-fashioned traditional center forward. Clive Allen, who coached him at Tottenham, stated that one thing I'd say about him, which unfortunately you don't say about a lot of young footballers, is that he had a passion for the game. He loves football, he loves playing, he loves scoring goals. His former Tottenham under-21 coach Les Ferdinand likened Kane's movement to their former forward Teddy Sheringham and the power and accuracy of his shots to Alan Shearer, a tall and physical striker. Kane's style of play has been compared to that of former Tottenham forward Jurgen Klinsmann, a comparison Kane called flattering in February 2015. In March 2015, Football Association chairman Greg Dyke named Kane as the Benchmark for clubs producing young English players, Scherer said that month that the three best strikers playing in the league were Kane, Diego Costa and Sergio Aguero, although he was initially criticized for his limited aerial game in his early career, as well as his lack of significant pace, he became more prolific with his head as his career progressed. After Tottenham's victory over Chelsea in January 2015, blogger Chris Miller wrote, Nobody thought he was the guy who was going. To give that performance against Chelsea. In February 2015, BBC Sport wrote that Kane was best as a lone striker, with his hold up play in close control making him apt in other positions as well. Also that month, Match of the Day pundit Danny Murphy said that the England team should be built around Kane, stating, I'm struggling to see a weakness in the lad's game. ESPN reporter Michael Cox stated that Kane was initially considered a pure goal scorer, he's actually a good all round player, often playing as an attacking midfielder, pointing out that during the 2018 FIFA World Cup Kane's contributions in deeper positions were outstanding, his back-to-goal work is impressive as ever. Indeed, although Kane is predominantly known for his clinical finishing and prolific goal-scoring ability as an out-and-out striker, he is also known for his vision, technique, link-up play, and passing ability, which enables him to drop deep, bring his teammates into play, and create chances for other players, he is therefore also capable of playing in a more creative role as a false 9 or even as a number 10 as such. In 2022, Sam McGuire of Opta Sports identified him as the most creative number 9 in the world. Additionally, he is also known for his defensive work rate and is an accurate penalty taker. Beginning in 2020, Kane started to be criticized about a perceived tactic of backing into defenders jumping for headers, causing the players to fall backwards onto the pitch, potentially risking serious injury. After doing so to Brighton and Hove Albion player Adam Lallana and winning a penalty, Kane was criticized by ex-Arsenal player Martin Keown who said, he looks at his opponent, knows what he is going to do and makes a back for him. I think it is dangerous play from Harry Kane and he knows what he is doing and I don't even think it is a penalty. However, this tactic has been defended by Crystal Palace defender Gary Cahill who said, I think that's just part of football. I think an element of that is being clever and experienced and knowing when you can maybe draw a foul in. Media and sponsorship Kane began a boot sponsorship deal with footwear company Skechers in August 2023, after his agreement with sportswear and equipment supplier Nike ended. Following his 100th Premier League goal in February 2018 Nike launched the special edition Hypervenom 3HK. In 2018 he featured in a Nike commercial, Nothing Beats a Londoner along with other sports stars based in the city, including quadruple Olympic champion Mo Farah and Chelsea playmaker Eden Hazard. 
Highlighting London's diversity, ahead of UEFA Euro 2016, Kane featured in advertisements for Mars Bars and Beats by Dr. Dre Headphones, the latter alongside Antoine Griezmann, Mario Gatza and Cesc Fabregas. Kane features in EA Sports FIFA video game series, he was named in the Team of the Year in FIFA 18, joining Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo in attack. Kane and Camila Cabello announced the winner of the Best International Male Solo Artist Award at the 2018 Brit Awards at the O2. Arena on February 21, namely Kendrick Lamar, on May 14, 2020, Kane announced that he would sponsor Leighton Orient's shirts for the next season to help support the first club he played for professionally through the COVID-19 pandemic. The unusual sponsorship deal, the first of its kind in English football, has the approval of Premier League, English Football League and Football Association, and the sponsorship has been donated to charities which will receive 10% of the proceeds of the Respective shirt sales, the home shirt shows a thank you message to the NHS frontline workers tackling the pandemic, the away shirt sporting a logo of Haven House Children's Hospice while the third kit features the mental health charity Mind. Personal life in an interview given in February 2015, Kane said he was in a relationship with Katie Goodland, whom he has known since childhood. He told Esquire, we went to school together, so she's seen my whole career. Of course, she's finding it a little crazy. I think she's even been in the papers a couple of times, taking the dogs out. On July 1, 2017, Kane announced his engagement to Goodland on his Twitter account and said in June 2019 that they had married. Kane and Katie Goodland announced the birth of their first child, a daughter, in January 2017. The birth of their second daughter was announced in August 2018. Their first son was born December 2020. Their second son was born in August 2023. Kane and Goodland have two Labrador retrievers, Brady and Wilson, named after NFL quarterbacks, Tom Brady and Russell Wilson. Kane has cited The Brady Six, a documentary about Brady, as an inspiration for his development. In 2019, Kane expressed an interest in becoming a kicker in the NFL in 10 to 12 years. Kane abstains from alcohol during the football season, and starting from 2017, he hired a full-time chef to optimize his nutrition. He plays golf in his free time. Kane was appointed a member of the Order of the British Empire, MBE, in the 2019 New Year Honours for Services to Football. On October 10, 2022, Kane launched the Harry Kane Foundation, which seeks to change perceptions of mental health by normalizing conversations and promoting positive habits to end stigma around the subject. To mark the occasion, Kane featured on BB's Bedtime Stories.